Hey, welcome back to the channel. We are on our way to Minnesota. Uh, it's not all of us this time as we uh, were going to do, but uh, as I told you, well, I guess maybe you haven't seen that video yet. Our girls are in the state semifinals, which are playing at Michigan State University, which will be actually tomorrow night. By the time you see this, it'll probably be, it'd been last night. But anyways, so still got my, my buddy Nate. Hey. What's up? And my cousin Patrick, let me see if I can get him in there. There he is. He goes with me every year uh, possible to this, uh, the winter show. And uh, so it's kind of a ritual. So he's got to go. You know, sometimes I take other people, but he's always going. So, all right. So we'll, uh, we're going to head up through the UP of Michigan. I don't know how much we're going to show of uh, our trip here, but uh, if you see something cool, we need to, you know, let you see or whatever, we'll do that. So we'll catch you in a bit. All right. Well, if you haven't seen the uh, Milwaukee, no, it's the Mackinac. Sorry. Mackinac Bridge. We're getting ready to cross it. I've got a trailer on. So there's a high winded warning right now. So I can only go 20 miles an hour across this bridge. Um, that's five, I believe it's five miles across here. So it's going to take me a couple minutes to get across but that's all right <clears throat> so i'll uh, take you along you know the waves look a little choppy yes pretty man she's pretty Feel the wind. There's a north wind today, so it's kind of blowing right in our face. I gotta slow down a little bit yet. Yeah, you can definitely feel the wind. Yeah, we're not even on the. Oh, we're on the bridge, but not on the suspension part yet. Take a couple minutes to get across. Yeah, there's Mackinac Island. No vehicles out there except for fire trucks. Lots of horses, a lot of bicycles. I figured it'd be bigger waves than when they're out there. Yeah, well, they're it's out of the north, so I think you get over farther and it might be a little bit worse one way or another. paint this thing at least once a year I think somebody has to paint all these cables yeah, it's quite an ordeal if I was going slower you can see down through the through the grates there Buddy Nate, you check out his channel too, it's Bruce Farms. He's got quite a few Olivers and kind of do with some homesteading things. Other other things that they do. Bees and stuff like that. But yeah, there we go, there's the UP. Get to that side. Yeah, well we're on the downhill slope towards the UP. There's times that they'll shut this bridge down. Too too much wind, or or if uh, the weather has been snowing or heavy snow, ice be falling off these cables here, and they'll shut the bridge down because the ice falling. There's our 
St. Ignace. Well, good morning. Sorry you can't, maybe you can't see, but it's 6.30 in the morning. We're, we stayed tonight in Escanaba, Michigan, and woke up, and yeah, buddy, it's March. We're in the UP. It's not snowing currently. Actually, there's no snow on the ground here. Um, there was some more to the, uh, uh, back to the east. Here, does that help a little bit, maybe? I don't know. Anyways. So we're heading out. We still got about oh eight nine hours to uh, get to our destination over there in Southwest Minnesota. So yeah, we got a good night's rest, pretty good breakfast for a continental breakfast, especially. So yeah, we'll see you in a bit. All right, we made it to Minnesota. Yeah, this is the 302 I brought out that Mikey's getting. Oh, it's in, a, in the 30s here. Here's a tractor for sale. What's that, salt? Yeah. Got that Upper Peninsula, Michigan. That's where I brought that from. Yeah. Here we go. Mini Moline G1850. Exactly the same. Oliver 1755. Except for, of course, the yellow paint. And uh, there's no spears on here. It has a decal. And the front grill is different. That's about it. So, she is for sale. I have no idea what he wants for it, but we can find out. Pretty rare tractor. I think the 750 was the one they made the most of. So, yep. All these tractors that you're about to see has already been on my channel a while back, quite a while back. We've, we've toured this facility. All right. This tractor's been on the channel before too, but uh, 1938, U Deluxe. Pretty sweet tractor. All right. This G1000 didn't come from the factory four wheel drive like this. He had it all done. And actually there's a guy sitting right over there. He's a master machinist. He's the one that knows how to fabricate all this stuff to make everything work. But uh, yeah, this is pretty pretty awesome tractor. What size tire? 23 134s. Boy, they look bigger than that. But yep, nice looking tractor. All right, here's a 940, pretty rare drive. Pretty sweet. Same as 1855 Oliver. And why was the other Olivers that were painted yellow and called Moline's like the 550, 750, 850, then they went to 940? Well, I mean, it was Moline already had a G10, G950. <clears throat> yep, that's pretty sweet. UTU. This is Mikey's kids. Nice looking tractor. They're doing a oh refab on it, I guess. Nice, nice tires on there, that's for sure. It's a later one with split heads. Oops, somebody's texting me. That's cool. Oh, here's a beast. This has been on my channel, like I said before. 8020, John Deere. 653 Detroit NS, or no, 671. No, shoot, no, I can't remember. Big six cylinder Detroit in there, but these are a beast. Big old, just a block of a tractor. Without falling down. Wow. 
671 Detroit, is that right? Yes, sir. That's what I thought. I'm gonna video this 4430. Mikey probably is like, ah, oh, that thing's dirty. This tractor they use every day. You know, 4430 is, it was a great tractor, is a great tractor, still being used on a lot of farms today. You know, my dad has one. That was a pretty sweet tractor. In this day, you know, roughly 120 horse. Pretty, pretty handy tractor. Perfect on a, on a feed wagon. Okay, she's getting cold out, but I am gonna video. This is a salvage yard at Mike Ollers. I, I'll try to post his phone number for you. Looks like a 302, super late model with a flat top fenders. Yep, 2782. This looks like I'm guessing a 69 by by what I'm seeing, but there's not much there left. But this is all his salvage stuff. Not sure what's going on with his G1000, but that would fit my program at home. Just the way it looks. Oh, she got the big tires on the back. Whew, 23 130s. I wanted to do that one time to one of my tractors, but I never did do it. Not sure what the story is on this one. Five star on LP standard. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. I don't see a lot of those. Wow. Yep. That's a cool tractor. Hello, Chevy truck. U diesel. UTS diesel. How do you want to say it? But that's what it is. Whew. Yep, Mikey has some neat stuff around here all the time. This is always changing. He's got a couple fenders here for you. Need some heads. Hey, there's a Z block. Somebody needs them. Lines of all kinds. Holy cow. What's that motor out of, I wonder? Split weights up the wazoo with extra LP take, dual columns. Here's a GBD. That's pretty neat. I don't think she's ran in a while. We've, we've, I've pictured her, I've pictured, I've uh, videoed all these, all these parts here. I don't think a whole lot's changed. There's a GB and UTS, a couple UTSs. Looks like a, another UT, oh, that's a ZA. Uh, it's got the side plate on the motor of the 206. UTU and a UV behind it, part stretchers. I'm pretty sure this was a 950. Before, three speed with, there, that's what the inside of a three speed looks like. It's missing some shafts and gearing and all that stuff, but that's what it looks like. Huh. There's a G1000. That one there used to be at my house at one time. Looks like he's been robbing some parts off it. It is what it is. So, you know, huh. This is what I was talking about right there. I, yeah. I might see if I want, I might take this cable home with me here. If, if, if it's loose, that would be the next thing. Okay. Put on my uh, 950 I've been working on. Another G1000, oh. That's another G1000. Mm -hmm. UB, or I'm not sorry, UTU on LP. Ooh, this looks like a 705. This wasn't here last time I was here. Hmm. I don't need any 705 parts. That's off of Massey Ferguson. That top. Huh. Interesting. Yep. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'll be here for a few days or in the area, so not sure when this video will get posted. Got a couple front ends around here. Vista tanks. <laughs> yeah, this is just part of it, so. Okay, I know they're not yellow, but I like all tractors. These are a couple of the project tractors he has around here. 
another 4430 open station that's pretty cool so it's got a quad quad range in it yeah is this let's see no no intercooler so it's either 4440 or 4430 but judging by the size of the axle i'm gonna say because that's bigger than the 4430 here this is a 4440 <sighs> yep it is okay yeah that's one thing i remembered is the axles are bigger on the 4430 versus the 4450 they look semi-identical otherwise especially with the hood off but of course you know the 40 series has different decals 48 40 100 like 100 with these 180 horse these are quite the tractor my dad almost bought one at one time i remember it was exactly where it was sitting and i think if i remember right the price tag was like 30 33,000 and i'm gonna tell you i was i couldn't drive so i was quite young and he's got a my dad has a rule he will never spend more on a tractor than he did his house and apparently that was more than his house i don't think that's i don't know if that's i'm pretty sure that's not the same rule anymore i don't know but we'll see but three hydraulics on there that's pretty cool they go quick hitch on it all right let's go look at some yellow stuff i like john deere's too there he is um my brother, i've got a question for you all right, we'll just check out some signs here real quick. <laughs> He's got a couple in here, but a uh, few parts. NTX. Yep. It says that on the plate. Mm -hmm. M5, M504, kind of same thing. Pretty rare tractor there. That one's on gas. 604. No, 604. Two four wheel drives. I got actually got a 604 under it. How oh, I I brought a flashlight. I just didn't bring it with me. 708. Only made one year. Look at there. 1468. Like all these tractors have been on here. Have been on my channel before. You can go back and look at these collections. But I I don't mind showing them again. So. So if I if I see them kind of fast, we got a lot to do yet today. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Kind of a neat sign all over the place. Forty-two thirty. These were a good tractor too. Rooster Master. Uh, these had a Rooster Master on that four four non-turbocharged. Most of these. Yep. Looks like it's got a quad in it. Yep. There right, we go. 1050 diesel standard. So. Mm hmm. 1350 and LP. Yeah. That was standard, isn't it? Here's his 1350 LP that he put a four wheel drive under. Not factory, but pretty cool still. D1000 <sighs> Wheatland four wheel drive. I think there's only 25 of these made. 900 four wheel drives. Yep. yep. Pretty cool. Alright, UB and LP all fixed up. That's, that's a nice looking tractor. So. Yeah, he's got blocks, he's got hubs. He's, a lot of engine parts he specializes in more the later model stuff when i say later model roughly 1964 65 66 and newer but he does have parts for the older ones too so. okay we're at our second stop which is back in iowa just a mile or two but at the Sixta Brothers, but they've got some cool stuff we just you don't, just don't see very often. Look at this. An 1840 power unit. It's got a picker on the front. <laughs> it's got a 318 Chrysler in there. I said, wait, is that a 38? That's a V8. Yeah, V318. Isn't that cool? An 1830 pull behind. 
look at that. Single row picker. Just you just don't see those. <laughs> I don't know if Moline made these or somebody made them for them. I'm not positive on that. It kind of looks like a fox chopper to me, but just 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 my two cents. What it looks like. I was looking for a for a serial tag on it or you know what. Yes. Cool beans. I was trying to think where they put these. They were somewhere where you could see them. But... Okay, let's look at some tractors. There's the front off of Moline Oliver, you know what I mean? That's the, but the, the bubble nose. There's a ZA, oh, ZB. Don't think she's ran in a while. I just wanted to get to this 1865 over here, but here's a Twin City. Looks like a KTA. Or is that an MTA? KTA. That was right. That's a cool Twin City. I, someday I'm gonna get one. Not today, but ooh, here's one of the 1865s um, of the 50 series Molines that were painted the Oliver. This is the exact same as a 950. Um, this is the one that was more. They made more of these. We'll come and we'll get more of that. This fox or that chopper is that made by Fox? My buddy Nate was thinking it kind of looks like a fox chopper. So I don't know. Another five star LP. That's two for today. Yep, that's also standard. She's been sitting there a while, huh? Looky here. These steel wheels. This looks wider. I know a guy. Looking for something for an Oliver down in Indiana, but I think these are the wider ones and he needs the narrower ones. M5 and LP with a narrow front. I'm not sure what we got going on here. This looks like a homemade Beverly Hillbilly deal going on here. It's got an international motor in it. Self-propelled. Two, two row wide picker yeah that's a quite the unit there <laughs> all right for you fiat lovers this is a 350 pretty cool jet star three low band gas Twin City, this is a GA, I do believe a JTU. Yep. JT, yep, that was right. Good. I like it when I'm right. Red nose UTU. GPD, nice. 705. Yep. Another one. Both these are diesel, in case you didn't know, 504 cubic inch motor in these. 705 LP, also 504. 706, same as the 705, except it has a four wheel drive under it. And this is a Coleman. Coleman has the, the dish hub, hub caps, the early Elwoods were flat. It's easy to tell. G1000 Vista diesel with a propane tank just mounted there for whatever reason but it's definitely a diesel huh it's a g1000 with a v8 put in it huh that's not not a vista what have we got going on here yeah definitely a v8 definitely on gas wow all right G1000 Wheatland Diesel. Yeah, it's, it's getting cold here, but the Sixta boys, they collect, they don't sell, just, I, just so you know. 950 Diesel, we've been working on one of those. Bubble nose, uh, two speed, nice chrome stack on it, all dueled up, that's cool. Look at this old Chevy, wow. 
that's uh, that's interesting to say the least these guys are something here we go this is a utu with an aftermarket front wide front put on it going full row planner that's cool 2890 is that what that one is that's neat I don't know can you see all them it's gonna take me a while to get through all this we're gonna put these this is bigger than a 2890 yeah that wind is definitely cold there there's something you don't see very often the most many of them only swather yeah it's definitely a project all right, what do we got going on here? Z, ZTS. Tires don't hold air, that's for sure. Definitely could be restored. A four star on gasoline. 1355 convertible. <laughs> Oh, 585's got a little bit open uh, access there to the engine. But here's an R. Earlier one, but not the super earlier one. It's kind of the hood. That's something to look at. The later ones, the hoods didn't, uh, or sorry, hold on a second. Yeah. The difference between an R and a Z, easy to notice too, the brakes in an R are in, internal, whereas a Z and a U and all those are external, just so you know. Early, early model D, uh, UTU has a single block head on it. Help. I've had a couple of bullet, oh, bullet muffler. G1000. Hey, there's a dealer sticker. Let's say, say Busher. Busher Brothers, Algona, if I'm saying that right, Iowa. Yeah, narrow front's cool. 1355 with a narrow front. There you go, Oliver people. An 830 chopper. To, I think it's just like that 1830 over there. That's nice. Oh. Hmm. Let's see, what do we got going on here? M670 Super Diesel. Size of the, yeah. Pretty sure that's what that is. 65 or 6, probably 6. Another M602 on LP. Cool. How's it going? 1355, 1974 model. Yeah. 73 model had a white, white on there and it had the word or MM here. Where the 74 were all yellow and it had the word white there. Another G1000. Whew. Wind's cold, isn't it? Blame down. Yeah. I see you. Okay, this looks like a 300. There's a 350. 300 utility. I was right. Red one, though. This is a Jetstar 2. Only made one year, 1963 only. Yep, it started too, like I said. Uh, how can I tell? Because they're almost identical to George Jetstar, but the front end's a giveaway for me and a few other things. But here's a double disc Moline monitor planner. Man, that's cool. I know somebody's looking for one of those. Here's a G6 on D diesel. Some people call them GVI. Whatever you want to call them is fine. They also have one on propane. 425 cubic inch motor in these. It was a puller at one time. Mm -hmm. Here's the other side of that 1865 Oliver. Like I said before, same as a G950. Definitely a project and a half. All right. Still got lots to see. Lots to see. It's like an M670 with a cab, narrow front, on gasoline. 
four cylinder gives it away. Yep. 15.538's on there. Hmm. Cool looking freight shaker. Couple old U's over there. Moline 4 0 planter there. Part of a swather. Power units. Another R back there. All right. Let's look at this 1050 real, real quick, real quick. Then we'll go down this row. All right, 1050 diesel, bubble nose. Pretty sweet. Must be their spraying tractor. <laughs> Three speed. There you go. Combine. <laughs> Look at the horns on it. Those are kind of cool. Yep, that's neat. Another another planter and thresh machine, another combine. I'm not gonna climb all the way back there, but pull type here. This is like a is that a oh what do they call that? Shoot, now I can't remember. Look at there. That's a bean pickup on that one. Ooh, Wisconsin motor for one of these. Mm. Yeah, this is cool. I think Ross Yaller man has one just like this. Yeah, yeah. There's a baler, Moline baler in, in line. That's cool. All right. Whew. Planting tractor. Yep. Awesome. Yep. Alright, uni harvester. These things are cool, but they're they're a pain in the butt to drive. Or to haul too. See this one has the, the V206 motor in it. Basically it's the same parts as a 206 and a 445 or you know Jetstar like that but they put it in a V configuration <clears throat> it's the same head the pistons and all that stuff they just made the block to, for a V a two row picker on here yeah two row picker yep another swather another V4 Wisconsin on this one too another 830 Oliver corn chopper. Uh -huh. What do we got here? Jet Star 3, low band Jet Star 3. Yeah. With a loader. UM5. Mole machine. Where's the sickle? Oh, the sickle bar is right there. Uh, yep. UM5. I I live and dream many of us mole. It's just. I get excited. There's a lot of stuff that I, I know the, the models just by looking at them. Not everything, you know. But yeah, you know, bean head pull type combine missing a few parts. But, you know, 50 series hood. Alright. 20 or 3496 combine. Combines, combines, combines. A swather. Okay. It's got quite a few bottles. All right. Here's a corn picker like we used. Well, we used to have an Oliver one, but it's a wide. Pretty cool. Oh, this is a 350. Sorry, each 350. Huh, that one there probably could, could be used. Here's a couple older pickers. Lots of finger catchers in there. Yeah. 
pretty awesome. Okay. Looks like they just drug these out here. Well, I tell you what though. Northwest Iowa. She is dry. Wow. UB diesel. Put a homemade front on there. <laughs> I don't know what they got going on there. Holy Toledo. I don't know if somebody was making a turbo or something to put on that or what. But, huh, interesting. Took the gas centers off. It's 9 volts out. Always gonna be a special book. Yes. I don't know. It's one of my favorite tractors. I don't know. ZTU early. Looks like they had some kind of mishap there. Somebody bumping that up. Whew. Yeah, they put these grill screens on there for when they're picking corn to keep keep stuff out of the radiator and uh, protects it so the stalks and everything just didn't go in there you don't ruin your radiator Here's a ZB E adjustable white front on it cool cool tractor there oh Mark and uh, Dave and from New York I'm using that that uh, selfie stick you, you helped me out with <clears throat> seems to be working just fine just so you know it's hard to see it because camera's on the end of it but here's an early early UTU you know 47 maybe it's a 46 ish could be even earlier than that 44 I think they still were um, but anyways it's got the single when I say about a single block head this is what I'm what I'm saying right here this HG HC actually stood for high compression but in today's day and age it's really not that high compression Huh. There you go, you Sasquatch fans. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, here's a Twin City of some kind. She's a. It's got a Waukesha on it, so it's probably a J. Yep. Tell me the manifold that what it was, but early another early U. Huh. UTU. Fancy uh, rings on the front end there. I've seen those before. Whew. R. Doesn't cool very well. <laughs> R. This is the R row. Plenty windy around here today. It's a late model R. Hood. Uh, One thing. Fenders. Another thing. These fenders are. Fit R, well, I'll fit on anything, but these are four and R only. They're smaller than the other clamshells for, say, a Z or an R. Or, I'm sorry, Z or a U. They probably have about 30 combines around here or more, I'm guessing. Just a guess. This looks like a 2890, smaller in the back here. Narrow. Six here. Let's go look in front of this side here. Let's see if the zero tags on this one. Yep. Self-propelled 2890. That's what the SP stands for. But you you probably figured that out too. Clark Knopf Knopfziger implement. 
in Alpha, Minnesota. Matthew Ferguson. <laughs> That's cool. Hmm. I got some garbage buddies back home. They want me to bring these home. A couple of 12 tens. Shellers. Drags are there too. We need a little bit of work. I'm sure, but. the corn. Oh, brown mule they call these. It's, it's a huge harvester but they call them the brown mule because they were brown. 206 motor in it. Same as in the combine. Or I'm sorry tractor. Are you cold enough? <laughs> We're tired of walking again. Yeah, he said he could drive around out here. But it's kind of yeah, kind of hard for me to drive and gonna... drive and talk. Yeah. Huh. all this stuff out. Yeah, last time I was here, there was all around the. They call it the Grove around here, but. Uh, well, yeah, well, it's done now. <laughs> this is 760 Baylor. <laughs> yeah. There's a tag. Oh, it's a mini up with some old hands, but I wonder who made it. Oh, it's a 160. It's a T160. Yeah. Those choppers. yeah, I don't know if those are, I don't think Moline made them. I could be wrong, but they kind of look like a fox I've chopper. I've never seen them before. Never seen them. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of neat. Huh. Yeah. The needle's good in this one. Oh, that one's good. Ooh. Yeah, they're both in there. Looks good. All right. Ah. Yep. Another chopper. Two row. Ah. All right. Let's see what model this is. It's a 500. I'm just looking to see. This tells me this one might be Moline made. I don't. I could be wrong. I I, I don't know. Huh. Five thirty head on it. Motec years. So that was the early, late late fifties, early sixties. Swaffer. Uh, UTS. What's left of one? Oh, yeah. I'd say so. What's left of it? Well, I could have stolen it. Yeah. Well, I just know whether it was you or yeah. yeah. Uh huh. More swathers. This looks like a. Yeah. I think this was a five star. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. With that motor, that dash. Oh, I guess it. That starter. Uh, well, yeah. Well, she's got a 283 in it. Yeah. Yeah. That clutch kind of makes me think it's a five star. Yeah. Right. All these sickles. <laughs> Yeah. Huh. Yeah, let's look at the serial tag here. Yeah, there's a five right there. Yep. I bought a corn well, no, I had one and I bought a corn shower and then I traded for another one. Yeah, this is a five star. It's a five kind of, star diesels and I Yeah. I tell you, I put the hours on them things. Yep. Were they a hard starting tractor? Just to get them to turn over. Yeah. I mean, they would start. Yeah. But huh. 
I don't know why they got so terrible. I had every kind of a heater you could think of. Yeah. And, and, and then you still, when it got really cold, you still really have night. Yeah. Huh. But yeah, they, oh, yeah. Interesting. Another uni picker. Yeah. He likes unis. He's got all kinds of stuff around here. Yeah. Yeah, it could be. I don't know if you could hear him. He's talking about the grease bank. So. Yeah, me neither. I've, I've I've had my chance to buy a, buy a couple, but it's just you know they're too hard to haul and take them a lot of room to store. And... I would make sure I get the brown I see. That's full time. Yep. Okay. I see. I see. I see. What do we got here? Another G1000 or 670? 670. It's only got four cylinders on there. Yeah. Yeah, it was. She's pretty rough. That's some kind of roll bar. I'm guessing. So. 3496 combine. They got quite a few of those around here. This looks like a 69. That Wisconsin four cylinder on there. My dad was here. He could be telling some stories about this one. <laughs> yeah, that's neat. I know she's some of these are in rough condition, but it's still still need them. They're out of the dirt. You know, they aren't rotted away. Uh, I, you know, I don't know what they're going to do with them, but last I knew, they just really don't sell too much. Yeah, that's that's for sure, but wow. Glasses. Something. <laughs> that's right. That's right. There's a whole corn chiller. That model of, ah, they go look, that's a D or an E. Well, you have a good day. Watch, go somewhere where it's warm. We'll see you later, eh? Yep. All right. Is this a four row corn head on a, on a Moline? Yeah, sure is. A four row. <laughs> that's cool. Quite a unit in its day. Yeah, I'm glad it's not super warm out. The snakes would be out. And <laughs> there we go. 4296. That's the big one of the big ones. Yeah, big machine there. Got some white combines here. You should have the old Perkins in them, probably. 8900. That was a big girl at one time. This one's two-wheel drive. Boy, it's wide like my dad's. Dad used to have an 8820 John Deere and it was really wide. Really wide. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty good size. Pull behind cultivator there, or a, a roll cultivator. Three point. Wow. Quite the unit there. go it's a good size green drill there another double disc Moline one I might talk to the boys and see if they want to sell one of these not where they want I don't want for yard art I got a Amish buddy that's really hankering for one another 28 9 602 hmm. Chevy truck big old corn corn shell around it 
this is not Minneapolis Moline, but she's big. It's a you pronounce it. <laughs> That's quite a unit. So but, Oh, this is a 570. Okay. That was the earlier self-propelled one. Huh. Wow. Yeah, they've got quite a bit of stuff. Keep on. Let's go look at this little sheller over here. That looks pretty small. It's, a, it's an E or a D, I'm sure. Oh. Somewhere here. Pretty small. And this doesn't... This doesn't fold here. Hmm. Pretty small drag on it. Boy, she's little. It's an ear and I'm sure. Oh, it's right here. Oh, no, boy, I can read it. She's pretty rusty, and I'm not going to disturb it too much, but corn shell. A few more parts tractors, but seat on it. I think that's over there somewhere. Oh, here's some more corn shellers. What we got going on here? <laughs> oh, looks like a five star with a loader on it. Is that what that is? Well, pretty sure that's what that is. Some big picker or uh, shellers here. These twelve hundreds. Yeah, but that's a twelve hundred there. Um, that's probably what the other one is. I want to check out this forklift order I don't think it's many but all right another UTU yeah. hmm. another big white combine I think they use this one that looks like it's been shined up huh awesome okay now yeah, this is not Minneapolis Moline but it's still kind of neat to look at. Looking at, but judging by that pump, that kind of looks like a, well, I'm guessing a four cylinder Perkins just by looking at that pump. I don't know if this is a Clark or a Heister or what this is, but definitely something. Cool. Another Oliver Swather. Okay. They got a couple of whites over here. We'll show those. Then I'll show you the plows and then we'll probably cut this video. Oh, I don't want to walk too far away from this. Is this a G, Is this a G or are you special? Let's get over there closer. Oh, G's got more in here. G1000 looks like. Or 900. I don't, didn't go too close. Okay, let's look at this. Mm, zero tags right there. But the cool thing is, it's got a B series pedal, steering pedal still on it. But she looks like a G. This looks like some really tall jugs here. Oh, is that a 403 in this? Yep, 403, so that makes it a G. But <laughs> with that pedestal, I'm guessing somebody put a UB, at least the platform and pedestal on here. <laughs> well, that's kind of neat. Let me, let me put it together. But, oh, geez, there's a whole bunch of tractors over here. Okay, let's go check them out. I, there's some stuff, you know, I feel like I got to show you everything because if I was here, I want to look at everything and not everybody can make it here for whatever reason. Could be that you're in England, right, Peter? <laughs> but still need to, need to look at, there's some U parts. All right, a couple two 150 whites. We'll talk about them in a minute. Oh, we'll just do it right now. How's that? 
All right, a couple two 150s, which is pretty much the same as the 1355 Moline, 585 diesel in these. She's got the external oil pump on this one. That's where they mount it right there, like a hydraulic pump. But look, it goes right in the crankcase. That's a external engine, external engine oil pump on here, because the hydraulic pump's right there on these, because these have the, you know, the Oliver three-speed rear end in them. So uh, is this one turbocharged? It is not. That's a bummer. Wow. No three-point hitch on this one either, is it? Let's look real quick. These are heavy. I've hauled one of these. Uh, there is a three-point hitch on here. So, yep. Oh, the BTO's in. Let's look at the other. Whew. We'll look at this other one real quick. I don't want to say this one's in better shape, but at least the four wheels are up. Tie rod needs a little work. Also has the external oil pump. I don't know if that was a mandatory thing for the 585s or not, but it's a nice looking, not bad looking M5 on LP. Could be something someday. All right, here's an Oliver. I assume it's a 2655. Uh, serial tags in here. And this one has an A4T tag on it. I've seen them both ways. I had a, uh, um, it was a, a mini Ops Moline A4T 1600. It was red, but it had an Oliver 2655 tag on it. So I kind of think they would have, they could have did, you could have got them either way. This is basically 100% mini Ops Moline. Uh, on this one, it's basically the same as a 50 series. I think this is a 950 rear end. Uh, a lot of times I've been told that these are G900 at rear axles, so, but yeah, this is all 50 series, heavy duty. This was a diesel. Hmm. Yeah. I tell you what, I've been on the road since 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. We, we kind of gained an hour or whatever. Like Nate said, we were went back to the future an hour when we crossed the time zone, but uh, Really haven't, we haven't ate much today. So I mentioned the boys are hungry. But I gotta show you these tractors before we go. There's the back of that other 2150. Late model ZAU. Pressurized radiator crap. Cap, not crap. Sorry, it's getting cold. There's an R. This was a lift. Ran out the engine oil for the cultivator lift. Kind of neat. I've had a couple like that. You. Hmm. That's a cool looking ZTU. That is correct where the pipe comes out. That is correct. Another uh, Z, A, a U, B. There you go. This one's hard to find. This is an RTE. These are not that easy to find if it has a correct tag on it. Uh, Jet Star 3 low band. Awesome. Oh, I got a sneaky feeling. No, oh, it is a gasser. Okay. Yep, yeah, that's cool. This is a good looking late model ZA with the belly with a belly motor mower. What does that say? Kosh? K-O-S-C-H. Kind of neat. Open cylinder on there. That's a pretty good size. That's a 12-row John Deere row cultivator on there. I do not miss cultivating corn or beans. Don't miss it at all. Okay, we're almost done here. I'm going to walk over. We're going to look at the uh, plows real quick. I say real quick, but you know what I mean. So stand by for that. Okay, I'm not a plow expert, but we're gonna we're gonna walk and gawk and talk about a few of them. You know the models. Look at this mowing machine. That's pretty cool. But anyways, let's uh, 
me. That's a wide, pretty wide planter there. Except for these can't be potatoes. Three bottom. Only plow the models. I'm not. I don't know all the models of the plows. We're taking a plow home from this trip, but not from here. So. But anyways, that one's a Moline. A lot of these were made by Oliver. You'll see them sometimes as a case, sometimes as a Ford. There's a pretty good one. This, is, this one must be an on land. A hitch way over there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bottom. Yup. Take a good tractor to pull that one. This is a semi mount here. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight bottoms. We need to count that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That might be the biggest Moline plow I've seen. Eight bottom semi mount. That's cool. This one's missing the hitch on it. But four bottom. Yep. Fully mounted pipe plow there. This one's cool. Four bottom pipe plow. I have one, but it's not this same plow. Another semi mount. There we go. See a few of these for sale once in a while. You know, the Moline's version of the Brush Hog. I don't remember what model these are. Oh, what's that say? This says eight model, eight foot cutter, or six foot. It's probably a six foot cutter. <laughs> Still neat. There's a turd spreader. A couple of them. And here's ground driven ones. Yeah. Four bar rake, five, five bar rake. Oh, four. I was right the first time. That's cool. There's a sickle bar mower. I have one of these. I'd like one of these. Moan machines. <sighs> Cultivators. This is a three bar rake. Ooh. Interesting. Yep. We have a couple desks just like these. Actually, a little better shape, but Ooh, nice cable. There's Rossi Alverman's favorite tool to use once in a while. That'd be a handy little disc. A little bigger one, that'd be that'd be something. And they got a couple of them here. Good looking disc. Heavy. Cutting. All right, and he's got a couple more uni combine down here. Which we've, well, that one's a uni. Yeah. It's cold. Well, that concludes the first, we'll call this part one of the 2024 MMCI winter show that uh, the headquarters is in. Laverne, Minnesota, but we're taking tours in Minnesota, Iowa, and South Dakota. All right, so hey, look forward to part two coming up. Hey, I appreciate everybody watching. We'll see you in the next one.